very good morning students previous session we discussed internal structure of dicot root today we are going to discuss internal structure of monocot root example maize root so just see the picture this is the morphology of a monocot root so in all the monocot plant we can see fibrous root system fibrous root system is a characteristic feature of monocot plants let me pass on the internal structure of monocot root anatomy of monocot root so this is the ground plan outermost layer piliferous layer or epiblemma next to that cortex innermost layer of cortex endodermis then inner to that we can see steel with pericycle vascular bundle and pith let me see the internal structure of monocot root in detail so a thin transverse section of monocot root reveals epiblemma cortex endodermis steel pericycle vascular bundle pith from the periphery towards the center so first epiblemma or rhizodermis epiblemma or rhizodermis it is the outermost layer of root and is made up of single layer of thin walled parenchymatous cells which are closely arranged without any intercellular spaces in monocot root the rhizodermis without stomata and cuticle so stomata and cuticle are absent root hairs are present the root hair helps in absorption of water and mineral salts from the soil this layer also protects the inner tissue so the major function of epidermis epiblemma or rhizodermis is protection the major function of root hair absorption of water and minerals from the soil so this is about epiblemma or rhizodermis in monocot root so next to epiblemma we can see cortex cortex it is a multi layered larger zone composed of parenchymatous cells which are loosely arranged with lot of intercellular spaces the major function of cortex st stores water and food material so this is the major function of cortex innermost layer of cortex is called endodermis innermost layer of cortex with characteristic casparian strips and passage cell so what is casparian strips and what is passage cell in the endodermal cells the radial and tangential wall deposited with suberin secondary wall material it is called as casparian strips named after caspare who first noted the strips the major function of casparian strips prevent the re-entry of water 
once the water enter into the xylem next passage cell so what are called passage cell the endodermal cells which are opposite to the protoxylem points devoid of casparian strips so these are called passage cell the major function of passage cells it helps in the movement of water and dissolved salts from cortex into xylem so this is about the endodermis of monocot root so the characteristic feature of the endodermis presence of casparian strips and passage cell casparian strips are band like thickening made of suberin so next to endodermis we can see steel so steel comprises pericycle vascular tissues and pith what is steel all the tissues inner to endodermis constitute steel it includes pericycle vascular tissues and pith pericycle pericycle is a single layer of thin walled cells it is the outermost layer of steel the lateral roots originate from this layer next to that we can see vascular tissues it consists of many patches of xylem and phloem arranged radially so vascular tissues are arranged in radial manner xylem and phloem arranged in different radii alternate manner so this is called as radial arrangement the xylem is exarch and polyarch so what is exarch protoxylem facing towards the periphery metaxylem towards the center this condition is called as exarch and polyarch protoxylem points are many so this condition is called as polyarch then the conjunctive tissue which is present in between the xylem and phloem is made up of sclerenchyma so this is about the vascular tissues in monocot root next to that we can see pith it is present at the center it is made up of parenchyma cells which are loosely arranged with lot of intercellular spaces it contains abundant amount of starch grains the major function of pith food storage so it stores food so the internal structure of monocot root reveals epibloma or rhizodermis cortex endodermis steel pericycle vascular tissues pith from the periphery towards the center so far we discuss the internal structure of monocot root let me pass on differences between the anatomy of dicot root and monocot root just see the picture transverse section of dicot root and transverse section of monocot root so in both the case rhizodermis cortex is similar there is some differences in the stela region let me see what are the differences between the anatomy of dicot root and monocot root so in dicot root regarding number of xylem tetrar condition is present so what is tetrar condition dicot root with four protoxylem points but monocot root the condition is polyar here many protoxylem points are present so this is one difference between dicot root and monocot root next cambium 
so regarding cambium dicot wrote cambium is present during the secondary growth only but monocot wrote cambium is absent then the third difference between the anatomy of dicot root and monocot root is secondary growth secondary growth is present due to the presence of cambium secondary growth is absent in monocot root due to the absence of cambium next pith in dicot root pith is absent in monocot root pith is present so these are all the anatomical differences between dicot root and monocot root so with this we finished the internal structure of dicot root and monocot root i hope you would have understand the transverse section of dicot root and monocot root what are all the anatomical differences between the dicot root and monocot root that's all about today's class thank you